Hello, everybody, and welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. And today we want to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can order a domain name and web hosting all at the same time. Not only that, we want to show you how to get a free domain name and 15% off your entire order. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go to creatingwebsitetoday.com. So let's type that in. Once you type that in, you're going to get a page that looks just like this. And let's first of all, we're going to search for our domain name. Um, I want website for me. Dot com or dot org, whatever you want for your domain name, you type in this box here, and then you're going to go ahead and hit search. Your domain name is what people type in the address bar to find your website, like Google.com, Yahoo.com, Facebook.com. So I want mine to be website for me.com. Okay, whatever yours is, it'll tell you if it's available or not. Website for me.com is not available, but website for me.org is. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Going to hit continue to cart. Um, I don't want the extras, so I'll go ahead and hit continue to cart. Okay. Now we have our domain name. It's going to be $10.17, but we're going to get that for free. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Let's go ahead and find some web hosting. We're going to look for hosting plans. Under web hosting, you click hosting plans. Now, the options we have is economy, deluxe, or ultimate. We're going to go ahead and go with the economy. You could choose whichever one you like. Just make sure you choose 12 months in order to get the free domain name. So we're going to click 12 months, add to cart, and make sure you click Linux with control panel. Okay, so now we have our free domain name. Notice the 9.99 has been knocked off. Actually, we're going to say 15.99. And you have the price of $48.88 for your 12 months of web hosting at $4.08 a month. So what we're going to do is uh, $49.06 will be our total without the coupon. I just disactivated the coupon now. It was activated, but I disactivated it so you could see the price without the coupon. So you would pay $49.06. But now we're going to add our coupon. So you click where it says have promo code. Click that. Then you're going to type in tutorial. 15 okay when you type in tutorial 15 you hit apply and it's going to take 15 percent off your order plus you get your domain name for free so your total order is 41.73 you go ahead and hit proceed to checkout if you're a new customer you hit continue if you're a returning customer you want to put in your information so i'm going to go ahead and put in my details password and hit log in. Now, once I'm there, it's going to show me my preferred method of payment that I set up once I set up my account. You can choose whichever payment you like. Then you're going to click I agree to the following and you hit place your order. Okay, now when you proceed to check out and purchase your order, you're going to get an email confirmation saying thank you. What you want to do is you want to scroll down where it says go to my account you want to click that okay then you want to go to web hosting where it says manage you want to click that then you want to manage your control panel so you go ahead and click that okay now what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and install WordPress on your web hosting so you want to click right here where it says WordPress and you want to hit install this application now here's the domain name website for me.org that's the one we purchased earlier Yours should be listed here whatever domain name you have it should be listed right here okay you want to leave that blank leave that as it is scroll down leave that as it is I will leave everything as it is scroll all the way to the bottom now here's your administrator username and password you want to write that down and make a note of it that's how you're gonna log into your control panel okay now here I'm sorry, not your control panel. This is how you're going to log into your WordPress dashboard. So make sure you write down your username and your administrator password. If you want to show it, you just click that there. Okay, let's give your website a title. We're going to call it The Crew. Okay, whatever your group name is, whatever your singing uh, group name is, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to call ours The Crew, and our tag is going to be The Crew Gets Down. Okay, 
that's what we're going to put. All right, I'm going to leave everything else the same, and I'm going to go ahead and click Install. Okay, it's installing. And while that's doing this, I just want to let you know that once you install WordPress, you could take the development of your website to a whole nother level. And I'm excited to teach you step by step on how you can do this. Save yourself a lot of money. All right, now here you go. This is going to be your website, websiteforme.org. So if I click it, it's going to take us to our website. There's our website. The crew, the crew gets down. Okay. Now, in order to log in to my dashboard to make changes to this website, right now it looks like a blog, but I'm going to show you how to make it look like a website. In order to log in to your dashboard, see where it says set website for me.org forward slash WP dash admin, you want to click there. Now, this takes you to what's called your dashboard. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click dashboard here. Okay, so now that you're in your dashboard, the first thing we want to do is we're going to install a WordPress theme. Let me show you some of the things we're going to go through. This is what we want to walk you through. We've done the domain name. We've done the web hosting. We've installed WordPress. Next thing you do is install the WordPress theme. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. In order to install the WordPress theme, you want to go to where it says Appearance, Themes. Go ahead and click there. The theme we want to work with today is called the Vantage theme. So you want to click Add New Theme. And you want to go ahead here, type Vantage. Hit Enter. There's the Vantage theme. You want to go ahead and click Install. And then you want to click Activate. Now remember how our website looked like this? Or it looked like a blog? Now when you hit Refresh, look how it's going to look now. It's starting to look like a website just by changing the theme. Let's get into the next section. All right, now that you've got your uh, Vantage theme installed, let's go ahead and add the page builder. So we got install WordPress theme. We've done that. And we've installed the Vantage. So now we're going to install page builder. In order to do that, what you want to do is you want to go where it says home page. Click install page builder. And it's going to take a little while. And once that's installed, it's going to take your whole website to another level. You go ahead and click Activate Plugin. All right, let's go ahead and refresh your page. So now you have Hello World and you have your blog that is being presented. What we want to do now is we want to adjust our home page. Because right now, when you click, you're going to go to a blog. So you want to go to Appearance. And you want to go to home page. Now that you've installed it, the page builder, you want to go ahead and click on. Hit save home page. Now what we want to do is want to go back here, hit refresh. And it takes you to a home page now. It's looking more and more like a website instead of a blog. Let's see what we're going to do next. All right, install WordPress theme, install page builder, set up home page, a static page. Let's go ahead and do that. What you want to do now is you want to go to theme settings. I'm sorry, not theme settings. You want to go to settings, reading. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to set static page and make sure it says home page. Okay. So now when they type in websiteforme.org or your website, it's going to go to a home page and not a blog page. All right. Let's see what we got next. Install Premium Vantage. Let's go ahead and install the Premium Vantage theme. The way you do that, see where it says Appearance, Themes? Click that. You want to click Vantage Premium. Now, the good thing about the Vantage Premium theme is you could pay whatever you want. You could pay $10, $15, $20, $35, $50, or you can give a custom amount of a dollar or $5, whatever you think it's worth. Um, I would strongly encourage you to get this theme. It is well worth it. I mean, you could pay whatever you want. It takes your website to a whole nother level. We've already purchased it, so we're going to click Already Paid. And we're going to type in our code. <clears throat> now we're going to click Update Theme. We're going to click OK. 
Now it's updating the theme and it's going to be a premium theme. I would strongly encourage you to do that. Now we've installed premium vantage. Let's change the menu colors. So this is how our website looks now. So we're going to go ahead and change the menu colors. Now you can see it was switched. So we don't want that to be switched. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back where it says home page or theme settings. You want to change it to wide. We I like wide. So I'm going to lay out instead of box. I'm going to go full width. I just like that better. And then we're going to go stretch and we got the demo slider. So make all make sure all that is selected. And then it'll go back to the way it was before. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now we're going to change this menu here. That's the next thing on our list, I believe. Yes, change menu colors. So let's go ahead and do that. The way you change your menu colors is you go to Appearance, Customize. And when you have the premium theme, it's going to give you all these options. If you don't have the premium theme, you will not have these options. Let's go to Menu, Background, and you could change that. See how it's changing? Whatever color you like. Let's go with the light blue. I kind of like this blue here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this color, that number, and I'm going to place it in this box here. And it gives you that blue. Okay? So just know that these numbers represent a certain color. Okay, and these colors represent a certain number. All right, now with the text color, we could change that to white. I like white. And then you hit save and publish. So now we've changed our menu and our text color. What do we have next? We change menu colors, change text on menu colors, remove sample page, and remove sample blog. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, right now you have a sample page and a sample blog. We're going to remove that. Let's go to post. See hello world. That's your sample page. You want to view it? This is how it looks. We're going to delete that. So you want to go to pages. I'm sorry. Go to post. Hit trash. Go to pages. And we're going to trash the about page. Keep your home page. Do not delete that. Okay. What's next? Add pages, home, music, blog, calendar, contact us. Another thing I want to show you what we're going to do is we're going to remove the header. I think it looks nice without the header, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in. This part right here, we're going to remove that. So you want to go to Appearance, Customize. And we're going to go to Theme Design. And we're going to go to General. See what it says 45? Let's type in 0. And hit Save. Now you got to get rid of where it says my blog to make it go all the way to the top. So you're going to go to uh, where are we at? You're going to go to site identity. Click that and erase my blog. Hit save and publish. Now you got a clean home page. Let's hit refresh. Let's see how we're looking now. Hey, our website is coming along. Let's go to the next one. Add pages, home, music, blog, calendar, contact us. Let's go ahead and add some pages to your website. Go to your dashboard, go to pages, and you hit add new. We already have the home page, so we can skip that. Next page is music, blog, calendar. Let's add that. So we're going to add music. And just here, we'll just put music for now. And go ahead and hit publish. Then we're going to add another page. It's going to say blog. And we'll go ahead and hit publish. Uh, add another page. This one will be calendar. And we'll type calendar down here also. Just to have something in the page for now. And we'll hit publish. And last page is going to be our contact us page. Go down here, type something in there, and now you have five pages on your website. What's next? Add menu. We're going to add these pages to the menu. 
The way you do that is you go to Appearance and you go to Menu. Because right now, if we go to our website, you have Home, Blog, Calendar, Contact Us, and Music. So you want to get rid of this home page. You don't need to. And to put them in the right order, you go Music. You just simply click and drag. Blog, Calendar, Contact Us. I like that order there. Hit Create Menu. And you want to make sure primary menu is selected. You hit save. So now you have your pages and they're in the order that we want them in. Home, music, blog, calendar, contact us. If you click the pages, it's just going to have something really brief that we put in there. You got music, you got blog, you got a calendar, and you got the contact us. And then you go back to your home page. Okay, it's looking good. Let's see what we got next. Next, we want to install plugins. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plugins we need to install. So you want to go to your dashboard, click plugins, hit add new. First one we're going to get is called Meta Slider. Let's go ahead and put that in search. Go ahead and hit install now. Then you activate the plugin. Okay, next one is Music Store. Go to Add New. Search Plugins. Type in Music Store. Hit Install Now. Then you hit Activate Plugin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next one is the Stack Plugin. Now, this one's a little different. In order to get this one, you're going to go to stackplugin.com. This one you need to pay for, but believe me, it is well worth it. You go to Stack Plugin, and then you're going to have to purchase it, and they're going to send you a file. Once you get that file, I'll show you what to do. You're going to have a video on all that place. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. Right here, single site license, $27. Click Buy Now. Enter all your information. And then they're going to email you the file. Now I'm going to show you how to install the file. You go to Add New, Upload Plugin. You're going to browse to where you saved the file. Ours is right here. And then you hit Install Now. Believe me, I know it's $27, but this plugin adds so many features to your website, it's out of this world. And you'll see once we get into it what we're going to do with this plugin. Okay, once it's done installing, you hit Activate Plugin. Now, once again, in order to get this plugin, you want to go to Stack, just to make sure you got it. Plugin.com. S-T-A-K-K-P-U-L-G-P-L-U-G-I-N.com. Once again, that's S-T-A-K-K-P-L-U-G-I-N.com. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and get the next plugin. Black Studio Tiny. MCI add new then you can type in black studio and then your plugin should come up hit install now hit activate plugin and then you're good let's go to the next one statistics let's go ahead and install the statistics plugin I'm gonna click add new and then you're gonna type in statistics and it should say WP Statistics. Hit Install Now. Okay. And once it installs, you want to go ahead and activate the plugin. And what this plugin does, it helps you to keep track of how many hits you get on your blogs, your page, your website, and things like that. It's a pretty cool plugin. It's free. Okay, once it's done installing, you hit Activate Plugin. Okay, let's go to the next one. JotForm. Now, this is another plugin. You need to go actually to the website. This one is well worth it, believe me. JotForm.com. Now, there's a free one and there's paid ones. We have the paid one, $19 a month. You can get a free. Go ahead and click free and then sign up and do what you got to do. 
the reason it said cancel the subscription is because we're already on the $19 one. So we don't want to downgrade. So, but you just go ahead and select this free plan, sign everything up, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, and we'll show you how to work it a little bit later. All right, next one is title remover. Let's go ahead and go there. So we're going to close this. We're going to go to add new for our plugins and type in title remover. Okay, there it is. Hit install now. Activate plugin. All right, so I believe that's all of our plugins. Now remember, stack plugin, you need to go to stackplugin.com. For the jot form, you need to go to jotform.com. Okay, those are the only two that you need to go to a different website. And believe me, they're well worth it. The only one you need to pay for, or there's two you need to pay for, is going to be your music store, stack plugin, and there's three, sorry, and meta slider. Now you could choose to pay for your jot form, you don't have to. But I'm telling you, Meta Slider is going to be worth it. Your music store is worth it. And your stack plugin will be worth it. Okay. But there is free versions of Meta Slider and music store. There's no free versions of stack plugin though. But I believe that you're going to want to buy these versions of music store and Meta Slider when you see what they can do. All right. Let's go to the next thing. Now that we have our plugins installed, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and install Meta Slider Pro. In order to get this, you want to go to image slider for me dot com so let's go ahead and go there image slider for me dot com and this is going to allow us to install the meta slider pro it's going to take your whole website to a whole another level now we have the free version installed already on our website but we're going to go ahead and get you could get the $19 one, developer one, or the multi-site. It's up to you. So go ahead and click buy now. And it'll take you through the process. Okay. It's going to send you a file. Once you get the file, you're going to do this to install it. You're going to go to plugins. We already have the file. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Add new. Upload. And we're going to browse to where our file is at. That's our MetaSlider Pro right there. And we're going to click install now. If I could encourage you to get the Meta Slider Pro, once you see what it will do, I think you'll be convinced that $19 is well worth it. Okay, then you're going to hit Activate Plugin. All right, we've got it installed. So let's add some slider images. We're going to add some pictures. Okay, this is very good for those of you that have music, hip hop, rap, singing, a band. Watch what the Meta Slider Pro can do. We're going to go ahead and go to MetaSlider Pro and we're going to add some slides. You want to click the plus that says create your first slideshow. And let's label this one home page. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add slide. And we're going to choose, make sure you choose layer slide and upload file. I already have the files that I want to use. So I'm going to go to my hard drive where the files are at. Okay. And we're going to upload the guitar. And we're going to upload the wrapper. Okay. You know, they take it takes a little time to upload. Okay. Let's start off with the guitar. We're going to add we're going to choose the guitar. So when you choose it, then you're going to click add to slider. Okay. And then you want to go launch layer editor. Now what you want to make sure is that your see how this is not fill filled. You want to make sure that your dimensions are the same as your picture. This says 700 by 300, but our picture is not those dimensions. Let me show you. Okay. Our dimensions for our pictures, our sliders, is 1080 by 475. So you want to go ahead and change that. So you want to go here. You want to make that 1080. Always try to make sure that your dimensions are the same from your picture and your uh, settings here. We're going to go ahead and change that to 1080. Let me just go ahead and type it in. And then here is going to be 475. Then you hit save. 
Okay. Now, once that's saved, go ahead and go to your launch layer slider. Okay. And you want to type in new. Now, here is where you're going to be able to type over this picture here. Okay. So, let's say we got a new song that we just released called the Hottest Jam. Okay. And we're going to grab the bottom, make it big. And we're going to put it in the middle. We're going to bold it. We're going to make the font to Homa. And let's make the size 30. Okay. Let me bring it down here. About right there. Boom. The hottest jam. And then you could put uh, latest single. Listen now. So the latest single is the hottest jam. So you're going to add another new layer. And you're going to put all caps, R, latest, single. Okay. You spread that out. Go ahead and bold it. And let's make the size 24. All right. I'm going to bring that down. Boom. Now I'm going to get rid of this background. You just click background. Fade it all the way to the left. And make it transparent. Same thing here. Click it. Fade it all the way to the left. And you make it transparent. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Or bring it up. I'm sorry. And bring that up. And we could bring this in a little. All right. And then we're going to make a listen now button. So you go ahead and type in listen now. And you want to bold that and you want to center this one. And let's make this font to Homa. And the size, let's go 30. Okay. And let's bring it down. And we actually want to keep the background and we're going to make it blue. Let's click on blue. And slide it over. Hit choose. Let's make it a light, little bit lighter. Okay. And then there you go. Now I want to make the hottest jam a little bigger. And we're going to make it at all caps. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on this. Highlight it. And we're going to put the hot, whatever the name of your single may be. Ours is called the hottest jam for now. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to spread it out. And we're going to make it bigger. Let's go like a 48. I'm going to make it stand out. I forgot to highlight the text. So let's go 48. Okay. There we go. And we're going to bring this up so it doesn't conflict. So you got the hottest jam, our latest single. And then you got listen now. Go ahead and hit save. And then you hit close. And then you're going to click save. Let's add another slider. Or another slide. So you're going to hit add slide. Make sure it's layer slide. Let's get the wrapper. And add to slider. Okay. Now we're going to do new layer. And let's put. We're going to call this one another hot jam. Another hot jam, hot off the press. Okay, and same thing like we did last time. We're going to bold it. Let's make it 48. Let's use the Tahoma font and we're going to bring it over. Let's go ahead and make the background transparent. And we're going to bring that down. Boom. All right, then we're going to put our latest single, new layer. Our latest already this plugin is worth the nineteen dollars watch what it does okay i'm gonna bold it and we're gonna use tahoma and we're gonna make this 30. let's bring it down i'm gonna take the bold off okay 
Another hot jam. That's the name of your song or whatever you want to call it. Let's call it something else. Let's call it um, On the Cutting Edge. That's the name of our song. How about that? Okay. And we got to spread it out a little bit because we added some more letters. Boom. Our latest single, On the Cutting Edge. And if they want to listen now. Listen now. We're going to center it. Let's go ahead and bold it. Let's go ahead and make it the Tahoma font. And we'll make it 30. Okay. And we're going to make the background blue again. So you click that. Click your background. And let's make it a darker. Slide it to the right. Hit choose. And you bring it down. Put it in the middle. And you hit save. Now, once we have our song, we're going to put a hyperlink on this text, which you'll do by clicking that. But we'll do that once we have the music in the music store. Let's go ahead and hit save. We're going to hit close. We're going to hit save. All right. What do we have next? Okay. Now, if you go to the website, you see here that we have this image, this slider. This is not meta slider. This is the stock slider that comes with the Vantage theme. So we're going to go and activate. We're going to activate the meta slider pro. Let me show you how to do that. You go to appearance, theme settings, navigation. I'm sorry, home. See where it says demo slider? You don't want that. You want the new slider you just made called home page. You hit save settings. Go here. Hit refresh. Now it should be the slider that we just created. There you go. Now you can see that the settings are not right on the page. So we need to fix that. How do we fix that? Let's do it now. As you can see that our dimensions are not lining up. We got the slider is kind of not fitting real tight with the home page. Let me show you how to fix that. I'm going to go to your dashboard go to appearance and you're going to go to theme settings and you're going to uncheck stretch hit save settings then you're going to go to your meta slider pro go to advance and select 100 percent whiteout hit save now we're going to go to our website and refresh and it should take up the whole page now you're ready you scroll down there's the rest of your website looking good you go to the next slider looking good all right let's go to the next thing edit home page icons all right so what we want to do now is we want to edit these things here let's make one say music another one say maybe um, calendar and then maybe contact us so how do you edit these all right you're going to go to appearance I'm going to go to home page and see where it says circle icons. That's how you edit those. So here's your first one. You want to hit edit. And your title, let's make it music so people could listen to our music. Okay, and then we'll put a little line that says click here if you would like to listen to our music, to our latest songs. Or sermons or whatever it may be if it's for your church okay now instead of putting an icon we're going to put our own icon there so we're going to go upload the icon and use the URL how do we do that let me show you how to do it so we're going to hit done okay then we're going to go to media and we're going to add new select files I already have the images saved these are our circle icons that I want to add so we're going to add blog contact us and music okay so let's go ahead and add those you could make whatever files you want whatever images you want just remember they're 200 pixels by 200 pixels so we already already have these pre-made okay so i'm gonna use blog contact us and music so let's go ahead and put music now what we're going to do is go back to our home page and we're going to go to the circle icon and see where it says 
circle background URL. We got to get that. Okay, now this is how you get it. Go back to media. Select the one you want. Here's your URL. You copy it. And then you go ahead and close that. Go to your parents home page. Edit circle icon and type in the URL there. Okay. And you want to get rid of this icon here. You don't want it to overlap. So you click none. Because right now there's a pencil there. See, you don't want that. All right. So there's our URL. We want a large icon. And you can put here, listen now. Okay. And this will be the URL of our music page. So let's go ahead and grab that. So I'm going to right click, save link. I'm sorry, not save link. Where's my music page at? Let's see, copy link location. Go here and we're going to put it in the box there. And we want to link title and icon to more URL. Yes. Then you hit done and you hit save. That's the first one. Now let's do blog. Go to edit and we're going to put this call it blog click here to view our latest blog now the type that we're changing the types that we're changing is what's right here this writing right here is what we're working on blog is here and what i'm working on is right here okay so it's going to say click here to view our latest blog you could put whatever you want then we're going to put none because we don't want this to be there we're going to put our own personal one now we're going to hit done now I got to go get my URL for my image which is blog so I'm going to click and I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to hit control C on Mac I mean on PC I'm not for sure what it is I think it's command C on Mac I'm not for sure but just copy it okay and then we're going to go back to our appearance home page and you're in the middle icon hit edit circle background image URL you paste it there you still want it on the top so you just leave that you want a large icon and here you could put read blog now this text I'll show you where this is gonna go this text is gonna be right here okay and then we're gonna link this to our blog page so let's go ahead and copy our blog page. Right click, copy link location. Go back here, paste it. And you want this to link. Hit done. Hit save. Let's go ahead and refresh our page and see how it's, our icons are looking so far. Not bad. Oops, we still got the old one there, so we got to get rid of that. So how do you do it? Go to edit. Click edit and get rid of the circle. So you go up and you hit none. Then you hit done and you hit save. So now let's go ahead and refresh our page and it should be clear. There we go. So you got music, blog. Let's add one more. We'll put contact us. It's coming along, huh? Not bad. So we're going to go to media. Let's go go ahead and get our link. Contact us. I'm going to select it, copy, go to appearance, home page, edit, and here we're going to put contact us. And you could put feel free to contact us for questions or bookings however you want to put it okay and you're going to get rid of the icon that's there so you're going to click none and your url you already copied it so you put it there leave top and you want to go large and you could put contact us again if you like and the url for your contact page so right click copy link location and we're going to paste it and you want it to link so you hit done and you hit save. The reason why we linked it, let me show you why we linked it. Let's go ahead and refresh. 
So now you got all your three icons. The reason why we linked it is we want them to be able to click on the image that'll take them to our page. So now the pages are linked. See that? So you go to home page, you got a blog. Pretty soon your blog will be here. We'll show you how to do that. And then your contact us form will be on this page. All right, it's coming along. Okay, real quick before we go, let's go ahead and change um, the typing that is here. Editable home page, loads of loads of icons. Let's go ahead and customize that real quick, like we did this one. So what you want to do, you go to appearance, home page. And then you want to go to your first circle icon, click edit. Okay, and our first one is our music page. So what we'll do is we're going to click edit. And we're going to type in music page. Just something really quick. You could type in whatever you want. Visit our music page to hear our latest music. Boom. Now the type that you're putting here. That's what goes right here with this edible home page and you can edit this home page. So edible home page is the typing here. That's your title. Your text is going to be here. Right. And then your listen now is there. OK, so let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to update this. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to hit save. And then when we refresh our home page, our text here will be different. There you go. Let's go change this one. That's our blog. So we're going to go to the middle icon, click edit, and we're going to put blog. Then you could put visit our blog to get the latest updates. Or, you know, however you want to put it. And then we'll hit done. Then we'll hit save. And then we're going to go to our home page and hit refresh. And then this text here should change once the page is done refreshing so let's go ahead and refresh and there you go all right let's move on to the next part okay great we just finished showing you how to edit the home page icons now let's get into changing the headline widget adding social media icons and adjusting our blog post slider and adjusting the text box and setting up our footer all right let's do it so now what you want to do is go to your dashboard and what we're going to do right now is we're going to change the headline widget. So you want to go to appearance, home page. Right now, your headline widget looks like it's going to look like this. This is a headline widget. You can customize it and put whatever you want here. We're going to change that. So let's go ahead, home page. See where it says Vantage Headline? You click Edit. And let's put uh, we are the crew. Maybe that's the name of your group. Okay, so we're going to be called the crew. Crew. All right. And then you can put exclamation points. And then here you could put the freshest crew. In town. I know it's old school, but there you go. You can put whatever you want for your church, music group, band, however you want to put it. All right. So let's see. This should change here now. Let's see what we got. Let's hit refresh. We are the crew, the freshest crew in town. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and change this. What this is, this is our latest blogs, and it's going to rotate. We don't have any blogs now, but what it is is when you get your blogs, your pictures are going to show up here. See, like those little pictures? It's going to be like a carousel of pictures that rotate. In order to change that, it's called the post loop. Edit. And you could have our latest blog. You could put however many posts you want. You could put three or four. That depends. Uh, the number here is going to see how many pictures that show up on the bottom. And let's just put the cruise latest blog. Okay, and that way you'll know how to adjust it just in case you want to adjust that. Hit done, and we'll hit save. You go here to your home page, hit refresh, and now you got the cruise latest blog, and your blogs are going to show up there. Here, you could put uh, contact information. Let me show you how to change that text. 
Go to your home page, dashboard appearance, home page. Go to see where it says text. That changes that text. So let's put here, you could put um, your website. You could put your email information. You could put for, for more information or booking. Contact us. And you can put your phone number, however you want to do it. Whatever phone number you want to put. You can put your email. Okay. Then you hit done. Then you hit save. And then when, now when you refresh your home page, this information will be changed. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. There you go. You got contact information. All right. What's next? We got change headline widget add social media icons in place of the headline let's do that i kind of skipped i went to the blog post and adjusted the text so let me show you how you put some social media right here what you want to do is go to your vantage headline go to edit okay now i'm going to show you something here i'm going to go to add row and i'm going to go three okay i'm going to hit insert and that's our row there. Then I'm going to click in the middle. I'm going to add a widget. <clears throat> and the widget I'm going to add is Vantage Social Media. You hit edit. And it's going to give you an option to input your social media. So whatever your Facebook is. And you want to put the whole address. The WWP. Not just your name. Okay. So let me put something for you. P. Facebook. Dot com. Now I'm going to go get. Uh. I'll just put mine. Okay, and then I got my Twitter. Okay. And then I think I have, what else do I have? I have a Instagram. So you got your HCTP. Make sure you put the whole thing once again, not just your name gram.com forward slash that's gray and then I have a YouTube channel so you want to go to YouTube and you want to type in HTTP www.youtube.com and then my YouTube channel is Pastor Dre okay so I'm gonna hit done I'm gonna hit save now right here where our headline widget is we should have some social icons that pop up that people can link to if they want to visit see so if you want to go to my Facebook there you go it takes you to my Facebook you can do that maybe you have a band you have a rap group your church however you want to do it now look like it see how it's not centered I'm gonna show you how to move that over come here if you slide this over like that you slide that over like that it'll center it for you and then you just line it up However you think looks good. Go ahead and hit refresh. Okay, looks like we need to move it over a little bit more. So we're going to come over here. Slide it over. Slide it over. Hit save. And then we're going to hit refresh. Okay, it went too much. And then, you know, just play with it till you get it right. Make it look plush, you know. Then you save it. And you refresh. And then, you know, little by little, you get there. Slide it over a little bit more. But I'm, I'm sure you get the hang of it, you know, however you want it to look. But I think this, if it looks center, it looks nice. You know, so there you go. Now you got you some blog posts down here at the bottom. You got some information here. You got a headline. You could put whatever you want. And you could have people contact you via social media. All right, let's go to the next thing that we have set up footer menu okay now to set up your footer that's what's going to appear on the bottom here see that so let me show you how to set that up let's go ahead and make sure that's saved you're going to go to appearance widgets okay and then you're going to click where it says footer and then i'm going to take this out so because ours is already done but i'm going to take it out so you can see how to do it so it's going to be blank yours is probably blank like this okay that's how yours probably looks now 
So in order to get some text in there, you want to grab your visual editor and slide it up. Okay, and you could center it, make it look nice, type whatever you want. The crew is in the house. However you want to do it, www website for me dot org. Maybe you got your contact information you want to put there. One eight hundred five 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 one two one two. Uh, you could bold, you could highlight, you could bold it, you could put hyperlinks. If you want to put a hyperlink, you select it, put your hyperlink there. Type in the web page you would like them to go to. And you hit add link. Then you hit save. Okay, so this is what's going to appear on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and hit save. I think we saved it already, but we'll just make sure. Then you go to your home page, hit refresh, and there you go. Now you have a footer, and you can click it, and it'll take you to the website. All right, let's move on. Well, let me let it load for you before we go. So there you go. It takes you to your website by clicking the link on the footer. All right, let's move on to the next section. Okay, everybody, the website is coming along real nice. Got your slider going on. Got your icons going on. You got your social media icons you got your headline widget you got your more information you got your blog post carousel which we're going to uh, update our blog now so you're going to get to see how that works so let's go ahead and add a blog okay the way you add a blog is you want to go to dashboard post you want to click add new and what we're going to do is we're going to call this one new single release we're going to talk about we're releasing a new single so that's going to be our title okay and I already have a blog written, so let me go ahead and get that. You could put whatever you want, but this is just a sample for you. All right. Oops. And we're going to put here our blog post. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put an image. To put an image, you want to put add media, upload the file, and go to the hard drive where you saved your file. This is going to be our picture here. So I'm going to double click that. And then I'm going to hit insert to post. Okay, so there's our picture. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And then see these little things here? You can select where you want your picture to go. To the right. You want it to be in the middle. Or you want it to be in the left. I'm going to choose left. I like that. Okay? So hello, everybody. How are you from the day? We'd like to think of taking time to read our blog section and on and on. And whatever you like to put. And we're talking about the release of our new single. Okay? So then I'm going to hit save draft. And I'm going to go ahead and view the post, see how it looks. And that's going to be our blog. Real simple, but you could put, you know, of course you'd put more. Then we're going to hit publish. Okay, so now when we go to our home page and we hit refresh, we scroll down, there's your latest blog. Now to get the picture to show up, I'm going to go down here, see where it says featured image? I'm going to click that. And you can go ahead and add that as your featured image. And you can hit update. Okay. Now, when you go to your home page and you refresh, you have the latest blog picture. So every blog you put in is going to update. You have a picture here and a picture here. It's going to put up the three pictures and they'll rotate. So if someone wants to read your blog, they click the picture and it takes them to your latest blog. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, how do we link our blog page to our blogs? Because right now, if you go to our website, and you refresh, and you click blog, right? We're going to click blog. There's nothing there. So let me show you how to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to reading. See where it says post page? Whatever page you want your blogs to appear on, you select that. We want our blogs to be on the blog page. And you hit save changes. Now the cool thing about this is every blog you put in there is going to be updated to this page here. So let's go ahead and hit blog now, and there's your latest blog on your blog page. So every blog you put will be updated to your blog page. Isn't that cool? And now you got your home page. So that's how you set up your blog. <clears throat> let's get into the next section. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to show you to do that's really important with your blogs is when you go to your post, okay, and you select your blog, 
when you make your blog it's good to put tags on it so like for example you could put music as a tag you could put single as a tag you could put uh, hip hop or whatever group you could put band whatever you want to put you could put uh, Christian music however you want to do it and then you click add what this is gonna do is gonna put tags on your blog and help people to find your blog in search engines okay and if you want to hide your title on your blog see how that says blog there let me refresh it uh, let me see where we at we're on the blog here oh we got it we're good it's not there real quick let me show you one more thing you need to do when you're uh, putting your blogs okay so let's go to post here's your blog go to edit new single release you always want to add some tags so you could put music you could put uh, hip-hop put Christian music put rappers put uh, whatever it has to do with music put band okay and then you click add this is gonna help people to find your blog in search engines alright then you hit update and then you should be good all right, so I just wanted to uh, mention that to you. All right, let's get into the next section. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our calendar page. Right now in our calendar page, we have nothing. But we want to put a calendar where people can see our events, our latest concerts, if they want to book us, want to get a hold of us, see what dates that we're available. We want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go to your dashboard and you want to go to pages. And we're going to edit our calendar calendar page. Now, in order to insert a calendar, you're going to need a Gmail account, okay? So I would encourage you to go ahead and set up a Gmail account now. Once you have your Gmail account, you're going to go ahead and go to Google.com. Okay, once you log in, you're going to see this little calendar shape thing here, with the Google Apps. Then you want to click where it says Calendar. You go ahead and click that. Okay, now, here's all your calendars. Okay, now create a new one. You just click on my calendars, create new calendar. So let's go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to call this one the crew, the cruise calendar. Okay, for the sake of the tutorial. Description, the cruise calendar. For bookings and information. Let's we'll put it like that. Okay, uh, you, you can put your location if you want. It's up to you. Calendar time zone will leave United States. Make this calendar public. This calendar will appear in public Google search results. You can. It's up to you. All right. But the main thing you want to do is your calendar name and your description. So let's go ahead and hit create calendar. Okay, so now we have a calendar called the cruise calendar. Okay, I like looking at the month view. That's just me personally. Okay, so here we are, September 8th. Now, if I want to add an event, I click on the date. So say we have a concert on Friday. What is it? The crew. Live in concert. Okay, then I'm going to pick what calendar I want it on since I have so many. All right, and we're going to put create event. So now the crew has a concert here. If I want to add more information, of course I can. You could add a lot more information. You could put a description. You know, you could put uh, the address, however you want to do it. You could put all that here. So you could put the crew live in concert. Say we're going to be at Victory Outreach Church. In San Diego say the address is 4235 National Avenue okay and then if you want more information 619-262 of course you will put your concert information wherever you're gonna be your band your rap group whatever you know whatever you're gonna be doing the concert with okay and then we're going to go ahead and hit save okay now what you want to do is you want to go to your calendar 
and you want to click here now we're going to import it into our website we're going to import it here I'm going to show you how to do that you want to click calendar settings so let me show you one more time here's your calendar the clues calendar click here and you click calendar settings this is the text you want here you want to go over and get this text here highlight it and copy it okay this is the text you want now what you want to do is you want to go to your calendar page which is we're here right and you want to go ahead and insert that into this section here but make sure it's on text so you got to select text then you go ahead and paste it there okay and then you could go back to visual if you want I usually do that and I'm going to center my calendar so you click that and then you hit update okay now when someone goes to our calendar page they're going to see our crew calendar it's going to pop up and then they're going to see our our concert and if they want more information they click on it when friday where concert description the crew live in concert and it gives you the information of where the crew is going to be so that's how you set up a calendar uh it's pretty exciting so you could put your dates your events your bookings if you're a church you could put your events that are coming up you're a band you're a rap group you're a singing group you can put your upcoming concerts, release parties, whatever it may be. All right? All right, let's move on to the next section. Okay, now I want to show you how to set up your Contact Us page where you could put a form where people could put their name, uh, email, phone number, and then send you a message. This is nice. What you want to do is you want to go to your pages, and then you want to go to Contact Us. You want to hit Edit. Here's your page. Now, in order to edit that, you want to go to a place called jotform.com we've already had a lot of forms set up already but if you're new you're probably gonna get a page that looks like this you could do a free one you could do the nineteen dollar one thirty nine or ninety nine uh, we have this current plan but like I said you can set it up for free once you set everything up you wanna go to my forms okay now I'm gonna use this message contact form here okay this is the form that I've already got set up so I'm going to click edit it's a basic form you can use a template however you want to do it let me show you they have a lot of templates that you can choose from look at all these nice templates and then you just hit use template and it'll use it all right so once you decide on the template you want just go to your form now you could put images here let me show you how to put an image at the top so say I have this form here I want to put an image there's so much you could do with these forms you could it's 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 amazing uh, it's not a form tutorial but let me just share with you really quick you could put your singles here uh, and then people could pay you from PayPal through this form to download your single it's so much you can do okay let me go ahead and put an image in we've got image and we're gonna uh, upload an image from our file okay so we're gonna browse and we're gonna use this image here that I already have set up our header image and we're going to click upload file I want to move it to the top and then I want to shrink it a little bit so it fits in okay boom so that's going to be our form image our header image then we got contact us which in order to edit it you just click on it click on it however you want to do it okay so you got name email message that's pretty basic then you hit save okay now to embed the form you go to set up and embed you click there see where it says embed form you click that you want to embed it into WordPress so we're going to click embed there get this form get the information see that information there that's what you want you want that information there okay you want to copy it and you want to go to your page you contact us page and you want to go make sure text is selected and you want to paste the what you just selected here this what you selected you want to paste that in your page I like to go to visual you don't have to but I just like to do that okay now we're gonna to go to our contact us page and we're gonna refresh it now you have a form where people can contact you they can put their name their email and send you a message pretty cool and you could customize the form you can get whatever information you want from them you could change name you could change email address you could change message you could add things you could take out I really encourage you to watch some of the tutorials on 
jot form because there's so much you can do i mean there's widgets there's it payment tools you could like i said you could accept payments but this is not a uh jot form tutorial <clears throat> but it has a lot of cool stuff that i did want to mention to you all right all right so that's how you set up your contact us form let's move on to the next section also before we move on like say if you want to get rid of this contact us here because you already have it here the way you get rid of that is you go to your page see where it says high title you click that and you click update okay then i'm gonna go take out that blank space too. see how there's a little blank space there i'm gonna take that out by taking out this and making sure the form is at the the code is at the very top then i'm gonna hit update and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh and now our form is a little bit higher it looks really good okay let's move on okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and set up your music store uh, the website is looking pretty good we got our home page going on got our image slider working right you got your icons you got social media headline widget blog post more information you got your uh, blog set up got your calendar set up if people want to book you or see where you're going to be you got your contact us all set up people want to get a hold of you but in the music store there's nothing there so let's go ahead and set that up now in order to set that up you want to go to music store and click store settings okay now remember you get a lot more features with the paid version but I'm going to go ahead and teach you on the unpaid version all right so what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to select the email that you want to receive your payments at from PayPal so we're going to put that there all right go ahead and scroll down download link is valid for three days so this is how long the download link will be available if someone buys your product number of downloads allowed by purchase you could do one two or three how many times you're able to download the purchase okay you could do discounts but once again that's in the feature version all right notification settings first thing is who is the email going to be from so when anybody buys anything from you what who's going to be in the email who's who is it going to be from so we want it to be from website info at website for me.org okay now send notification email too this is the email that is going to be sent when someone purchases something from your store where do you want that alert to go to so let's go ahead and put info again at website for me.org okay email subject confirmation to user this is going to be their subject thank you for your purchase you can put whatever you want email confirmation to user here's the email and what it's going to read okay email subject notification to admin so your subject is going to say new product purchase and email notification to admin this is what your email is going to say then you hit update settings okay now to set up a song you want to go to songs for sale and you want to click add new and we're going to call this one uh holy ghost party it's our latest single and then we'll put hey everyone check out our latest single entitled holy ghost party okay i think i forgot the r here boom okay now sales price we're gonna say 99 cents okay um, all these red typings only means you get it if you get the paid version which we don't have okay audio file for sale let's go ahead and get our audio file so we're gonna go get the mp3 that we want to sell which is gonna be called Holy Ghost Party so I'm gonna go to my music and I'm gonna go get my song double click and I might as well download the sample clip also while we're at it okay okay so when your songs are done uploading you have your clip and you have your actual audio file you want to sell so this is the one we want to sell so we're going to click that we click select item audio file for sale now audio file for demo you want to select your clip this is what people will listen to to sample your song okay uh artists let's go ahead and put the crew and we'll hit add artist 
album including the song let's call it the crew of course you would put whatever you want and we're going to put add album all right cover um i'll go ahead and add a cover so i'm going to hit upload file select file and let's choose let me see if i have a cover i could use let's just call it that we'll use that latest single how's that <laughs> Once again, you can use whatever you want. Okay. Uh, duration of the song. Let's say it's 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Publication year 2005, we'll say. Or 2008. Just making up something. And additional information URL if you would like them to go to another web page with more information. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and hit publish all right and now you have a song so if you want to view your song you go here there's your song if people want to sample your song before they buy it Just lift your hands and Sunday morning, I'm on my way to church, got my suit and my tie and my starched up shirt. If they want to tweet your latest single for you, they want to like it on Facebook, they want to share it, there's so many options. That's pretty cool. Now what you want to do is you want to be able to put that song in your music store. So I'm going to go to pages and we're going to go to music. See this little thing right here? You want to click that. Filter results by product type. We're going to put all types. Columns, one. All genres, all artists, all albums. Hit OK. Now you've just inserted a music store on your music page. So let's go ahead and hit update. Okay. Then we're going to go to music store and refresh. And there's your song in your music store. So now every song that you add to your music store will be automatically updated to your music store page. Pretty cool, huh? And the cool thing is you could add your band albums, MP3s, your sermons, preachings. So this is good for bands, this is good for rappers, this is good for churches, anybody who wants to make their MP3s available on your website. Okay, so there you have it. You got a five page website. Let's go to the home page looking nice got your slider got your icons got your social media got your headline got your blog post and you got information and you got your header you go to your music store you're ready to sell your mp3s as you add them it will be automatically updated to your music store page uh, you got your blog as you write blogs it will be updated on your blog page you got your calendar if somebody wants to see your latest uh, where your concert is going to be, your event, your release party, or maybe I want to book you, I want to see when you're available, you got your calendar. And then you have a contact us page. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, they put their name, email, and then they send you a message and it goes automatically to your email. So you're pretty set up with the five page website looking really nice. Um, hopefully this tutorial has helped you out. I do have a bonus section I'm going to add on how to add a stack plug in to your website but this plugin does cost it's like $27 there is no free version of it but um, it's extra it's a bonus you don't need it but it's gonna take your website to a whole nother level so I'm gonna get into that section next but once again thanks for taking this tutorial hope it's helped you out okay it's your boy Pastor Dre God bless you we'll talk to you later bye bye <laughs>Okay, what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to add a stack plugin to your website, which takes it to a whole nother level. All right, the first thing you want to do in order to get the stack plugin, like I said, it does cost. You want to go to stackplugin.com. Okay, once you go to stackplugin.com, you're going to scroll down and you're going to decide which one you want. It's either going to be, I think it's 27. I'll show you right now. Okay, so. You want to scroll down. Now this video is going to play. You can go ahead and stop the video. You want to scroll all the way down. It's $27, 47 or 67 You got single site, multi-site, up to 10 sites, or developer license unlimited. Okay? Now, 
once you purchase okay you're going to go to buy now once you purchase they're going to send you a file once you get that file you're going to go to plugins and you're going to go to add new okay we've already added ours you go to upload plugin in order to add yours so once again it's plugins add new upload plugin and go to the hard drive where you're going to store the file that you purchased okay ours is already stored here so we've already downloaded ours there it is right there stack okay once you download it and you install it and you activate it it's going to say stack here and you got to insert your license key let me go ahead and insert mine okay i've inserted my license key and you're going to get this that looks just like this to create your first stack you're going to go to create new you got dashboard opt-in media timer survey offer opt-in is if you want people to opt in to a mailing list that you have media you can make a video pop up or an image pop up timer is a countdown timer for maybe a single release release party or whatever you want a special discount survey you could take a survey and ask questions and an offer is if you want to announce a concert revival uh, a release party whatever it may be but let's do something real quick I'm gonna show you how you can do um, media let's do media okay so we're gonna to go to dashboard and we're gonna say new release what pages do you want this to pop up on we're gonna just say we want it to pop up on the home page do you want time that means how long before they're on their website do you want this to pop up click away when they try to exit your website scroll when they scroll down a certain percentage of your page timed and click away scroll and click away so you can combine them you can do all three so we're going to do timed and click away no no let's do timed and scroll so the time that they're on the website i'll say seven seconds before it pops up and if they scroll down 68 percent of the page it pops up how many times per visit once per hour per day once ever we're going to say one per visit you want it to swing in you want it to bounce in we're just going to leave it on swing because this is not a stack tutorial <laughs> i'm just going to show you how to set it up but it has so many features all right okay now background settings do you want it to be color image or video i'm going to say video now watch what's going to happen here i'm going to go get a video i'm going to go to youtube okay we're going to go to youtube and i'm going to grab this code here the uh URL of the video I want. This is a Lecrae video. All I need is you. Okay? So you're going to put that here. You're going to put your link there. Okay? Watch what happens. It's pretty cool. And we're going to do a media one. So we're going to select media because that's what the stack we want. And we want it to be in the middle. So let's put auto center. And if you want them to re redirect to a page once they select your media, you could click this here. But we're going to leave it blank. Go ahead and hit save. Okay, now this is what's going to pop up. This YouTube video is going to pop up when they come to our page. And then our media is going to come on top of that. So let's go to select media. And we want a video on top of that. So we'll just say video only. And whatever video you want, maybe you got your newest single, you could put your URL there. Okay, whatever it may be. Put the X if people want to close out of your video. Uh, you can include a border like that pretty cool huh you could make it autoplay you can have the controls available you could force HD so go ahead and hit save let's preview it really quick now watch what happens when I scroll down 68% it's gonna pop up boom video is gonna come in the background of Lecrae cool huh and I got my new video that you could uh, you could watch it's the same video but of course yours might be something different now if that's not too cool I don't know what is now once again this could be a different video you have playing back here this might be your latest uh, video you just came out with it could be you announcing a concert you announcing a revival you announcing your latest single it could be a video of you you know make an announcement there's so much you can do all right let's move on all right let's say you want to put a timer and you want to count down a, a concert a revival a release party release date for your latest single this is what you do. You want to go to dashboard, okay? Stack plugin and create no, not create new. You want to go to edit, 
So you're going to go to the same one you've already created, but then you're going to add a timer. See where it says timer, you click that. If you want timer only, you click that. If you want a header and all that good stuff, you can add that. Let's add a header. So your heading text is going to be new video release. Okay? So whatever you want to put there. And then you can go down to your subtext here and put whatever you want we'll put hot off the press okay here you could change your colors of your text right here whatever colors you want for your text see how it's changed colors uh, we'll just leave the green for the sake of the tutorial all right and then you can set an ending date say your release party is on friday or your single comes out on friday you could count down the time to that day and then you want to add it so we go to dash and then you want you don't only want media now you want media and a timer so that's going to set up your uh layout okay so then now when you go to website for me.org scroll down you're going to get a video and a timer so i'm telling you it's amazing so however you want to do it it's so much that will add to your website i'm sure you could think of some creative things you don't even have to do a video you could do an image let me do an image for you real quick say let's go get an image from our computer uh, so I'm gonna browse my computer let's just say I'm gonna use this one and then I'm gonna upload it now this is for the, the sake of the tutorial and then we're gonna put insert into post okay so there's the image now you could tile the image where it goes all the way across the page so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna hit save it's going to look a little different, but hey, this is for the sake of the tutorial. You'll get the idea. So when I scroll down, now the image is all the way across the page. My video pops up. So if they want to see my latest video, they hit play. I'm telling you, this is good for your band, music group, uh, church. Maybe you got a, a revival coming up. You want to put a video that pops up for people that come to your web page. You could put a picture of a preacher, put a picture of your band, put a picture of a, a rapper, singer. Uh, your concert date flyer however you want to do it and then you have a countdown timer right here telling you how much time you got it could be a special it could be a release date of your latest single i'm sure you could think of some cool ideas okay so this is just a few things that the stack plugin does timer media you could do opt-in for your mailing list okay let me show you what we could do now with the opt-in so we already have where we're able to play the video uh background picture background video let me show you how the opt-in works in case you have a mailing list you want people to join your mailing list so you go to you can keep the same title new video however you want to do it but then you're going to change your layout to an opt-in okay and then you're going to go create an opt-in so you're going to go here and this is your opt-in name email and you just change the words there this is your heading text so you can say <clears throat> join now okay and then you want to change your subheading text join our mailing list you could say and get a free mp3 download join today and get free mp3 download however you want to do it okay and then the text that's going to go on your button button text you can say download now okay so you see how it all changes over here that's what you're working with over here okay uh, your colors you can change your colors however you want to do it that's changing the text colors change your button color you can change the background of that however you want to do it button background go green dark green like that okay then say you want to save it and then you want to go to your uh, get response and you want to go to your mailing list say you want you want them to join this mailing list when they fill out the form then you're good so now you hit preview page and when i come to the website now and i scroll down or I wait seven seconds i'm going to be able to join your mailing list and of course if you don't want the background picture in there then you just go over here go to your dash see where it says your picture in the background here you can just take that out so let's take out the tile image and we're going to go ahead and just say we want a color and <clears throat> excuse me let's make it transparent we'll say 30 percent we'll hit save so now when they go to web page 
it's not going to have the picture. It'll just have a transparent background and your opt-in will pop up. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look, it's 2015. It's time to take your online presence to another level. This is perfect for your band, music group, church, uh, rappers, singers. I'm telling you, this is what you need to take your web presence to another level. And I hope this tutorial has helped you out. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.